Hey YouTube, I went ahead and uh, been doing some research on the new uh, iTunes Match. Uh, it's available uh, $24.99 per year, uh, automatically bills. What this does is this actually takes your existing media library in your iTunes, um, stores it to iCloud. If uh, there's a song in iTunes that already matches your title, it doesn't get uploaded. Uh, just the ones that it can't find a match. So if you've you know, got some tracks you haven't bought from iTunes, you know, maybe you've spent the time uploading all the titles, then it probably will find most of them. Um, if you haven't, or, you know, some of yours are downloads or MP3s with, you know, mixed uh, information, it may take a little bit more time. Um, basically, this is the iTunes match in progress. Uh, once you make the purchase, um, it's going to basically gather information about your iTunes library. It's going to match the music that you already have with songs in iTunes Store and upload the artwork, uh, the remaining songs. Now, though, that makes all your music available in the cloud, iCloud, and that is in addition to everything else that Apple has given you for free with iCloud. I believe there's a 10 device limit and 25,000 songs. Uh, that's according to Apple's uh, little disclaimer there at the bottom, but if they're iTunes purchases already, uh, it indicates those were unlimited. So. I'm going to take a second, though, uh, to show you guys something. I actually am using the uh, Western Digital TV Live uh, hub. That's actually the one terabyte hard drive feature built in. Um, I actually, for my iTunes, um, under my Preferences section, you guys can use any folder you, so you like. I actually have my iTunes media folder pointing to my WD TV Live and I've just put the iTunes folder in there. That makes this accessible from the network so I can point any of my computers to that or just share the Mac. This is on the uh, Mac Mini. That I keep on all the time. I noticed on a reboot I have to go in here and alter that every time but I'm researching how to make a permanent change. I believe I can do that in the command line just haven't done it yet but Nonetheless, if you move your iTunes folder, for example, over to the, you know, like I have, WDTV Live Hub, open that up, for example, there is my iTunes folder. So I just have that selected there. I've clicked OK. All my music, then, is available as I have it. This is everything. You can, all my music. Now you can see here, see these little cloud symbols that are outlined? That is because the iTunes match is in progress. It's gathering information about my library. So some of these songs are going to go to the cloud. Some won't have to because it already is a match within iTunes. So like I said, um, that's iTunes Match. Uh, that's available uh, just through iTunes. Uh, it's $24.99. I have a feeling that when more people jump on the bandwagon um, and realize the power of it, uh, that it's going to be more expensive than that. So. Um, you guys might want to take a moment, get on your iTunes, take a look at that, um, as well as maybe take a look at, you know, the WD TV Live. I'm going to be doing a separate video, um, how to get that WD TV Live set up on your network and shared, and it's quite simple. So, uh, like I said, folks, uh, please subscribe. Hope you enjoyed, and that's uh, how to use the uh, new iTunes uh, match. Thank you.